Hi folks, it's Matt from Giraffe Audio. I'm Giraffe Audio's NI Ambassador. Uh, we've done a couple of videos so far on the complete control software, especially the, the new 1.5 version. Uh, in the first video, we just had a look at what I spoke about how, um, how easy it was to set up uh, and get up and running with it. Um, in the second one, uh, we looked at how complete control 1.5 is now incorporating third party plugins into the actual browser itself. You can use them within that. Um, and also how easy it was to manually assign uh, controls to two parameters on whatever, whatever plugin you're using. In this one, we're gonna just have a look at some of the features of the keyboard and, and the software which have been there. Uh, but for an overall view, we're gonna take a look at that. Um, and it's, well, let's get started. Um, if we click on the little three notes here, uh, we've got scale, ARP and touch strip. Uh, now the touch strip one is the new one. Um, we're going to look at that um, in the next video because it's a little bit more involved. Um, but let's have a look at scale. So scale, I can switch it on from here. Um, we can choose our root note for our scale, uh, like so. There we go. Got all our notes there. Uh, and we can choose the uh, type of scale we're going to use. Uh, at the moment we've got major selected, but we can go through a bunch of them. So let's have a look at the full, full view there. So there's all the different scales that you can use. Uh, you've got key mode, uh, which is, you've got a couple of modes in that. Uh, you've got guide, which will show you the scale you're using uh, and what notes it uses. And it will show you that on the keyboard by um, lighting them up using the light guide. Um, what this means is that it will show you the the, the notes which are in the scale, but all the unlit notes will also still be active. If we go down to mapped, what mapped means is it's very similar to guide mode, but all the unlit notes will be inactive. Um, so that means you can't hit a bum note, really. Uh, so that's quite cool for you know, uh, keyboard players who you know, aren't the best. Um, I include myself in that as well. Um, and finally, we've got easy mode, which basically maps all of the scale uh, to the white keys. So you can just play the white keys and you'll be playing the perfect scale to whatever you've uh, set here. Uh, over on here as well, uh, we've got chords. So we can tell it to trigger chords when we're just using single notes. Uh, there we go, we've got harmonizer. So we can harmonize with notes, uh, the classic three, three, so the classic uh, one, three, five, stuff like that. Uh, there, there's the full list there. We can do it in octaves. Uh, also, we can do chord sets. So we can tell it, do a ma major, minor, all that kind of stuff, and variations of those. So that's pretty much scale. Uh, you can you can uh, access these features on, on the keyboard themselves, but it's very nice to have it in, in the software as well. So let's move on to ARP. And switch on ARP. Okay, uh, so ARP, we've got two main modes, ARP of course, and also uh, note repeat. I'll just go through note repeat first. Uh, note repeat, very simple. You hold down a note or a bunch of notes and it will repeat it. And the rate at which it will repeat it, we can set under rhythm and here's the rate. So we've got what, 16th at the moment or 32 dotted. Again, I'll show you the full menu. So there we go, a lot of options there. And you've got a swing control, which uh, adds a bit of funk to it. And under other, you've got gate. So moving it to the uh, left hand side will make the notes shorter, and moving it to the right hand side will make the notes long longer. Um, okay, so let's switch it into the main art mode, like so. So now we're in art mode, and we've got various types um, up, down, up, down. Uh, played so that the uh, order in which you played the notes uh, and chord. Uh, again, you've got the rhythm section, which you've got all these which you can select from. So we've got eighth notes dotted there, and we've got sequences. So at the moment, it's switched it off, but there's variants which you can have a look through. There's eight in total, and of course, off. Um, and again, swing is there. Under other, we've got a few more options. We've got octaves, 
at the moment if I hold down three notes it will just play those three notes if I increase the amount of octaves let's go all the way up to eight so if I hold down three notes now it will play those three notes but it will play them all across all eight octaves um, so then we've got dynamic which basically it will scale the velocity at which you hit each note by a varying percentage whatever you set it to on here it goes from all the way from one all the way up to 200 okay and finally we've got the gate again again if you get to the left hand side you notes know get shorter right hand side you notes know get longer and finally on ARP we've got hold under the advanced settings so we can set it to hold you can also use a sustain pedal to um, hold the ARP as well okay so that's it about the ARP uh, touch strip we'll be looking at next time um, it's a little bit more involved so I thought I'd dedicate a video to it uh, but if you've got any questions at all please leave them in the comments below um, I'll link to the two previous vi videos as well in the information uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.